Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, the 26th of June. I can't believe it's already the 26th of June. Also, June, my daughter, is five months old today, which is crazy. <laughs> but I wanted to hop on here and show some happy mail that I got. Um, I meant to do this video on Friday, but I, I wasn't feeling good Friday or Saturday. I ended up having a migraine. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, I want to share some happy mail and my knit crate. And then I'm going to also record and put out the winner for the summer uh hop giveaway that was supposed to come out yesterday but again i wasn't feeling good i had a real bad headache um so yeah but anyways i'm gonna get into the happy mail first i'll do the knit crate first knit crate has changed their they used to if you used one of our codes you get 20 percent off your first order or your first box but now instead of giving you 20 percent off they're giving you a, your box that you're buying plus a free past box so you, your first box you'll get two boxes which is pretty cool um i'll leave that link down below if you want to check it out but there's no pressure <laughs> but here's my knit crate it's a little mushed up when i got it i don't know if you can see it was like smushed <laughs> so um i was hoping to get the red color just i don't even know why i hope for colors because i never keep my knit crates <laughs> hardly ever but um the theme this time was homestead really pretty and then the colors you could have gotten were shabby chic which was like a neutral color cucumber and then the old barn so it is yeah was down there at the bottom so the color that i got was the cucumber it's really pretty it's like a, a um, variegated <laughs> green different greens it's really pretty it is the euro yarn or uru and it's called asher it is, let's see here, 34% cotton, 35% linen, 19% lyle seal, 11% nylon, sport weight, which is the number three, um, 351 yards each, so that's what, 702 yards together. It's nice. It feels cool. Like, it'd be good to make a, a wearable, I think, maybe. It is cotton and linen, so, <laughs> but, um, I don't know if I'll keep this. I might give it away or see if maybe, uh, Doris wants it. I usually, I send her a lot of my knit crates. I don't know if she wants that. I don't know if I've seen her video which one she got yet. But, oh yeah, I did. She got Shabby Chic. I remember right now. But, and the extra was really random and totally weird. <laughs> it reminds me of, like, the stuff you get at hotels. It is a coffee that you put over your cup and then you, like, steep it. Um, it's a Vin Vietnamese coffee and the company is called Cop Copper Cow Coffee. Ooh. And this is a vanilla tea coffee. I won't drink this. I won't drink coffee. Devin might want it, but I might see if my mom wants it. And then it also came with a little pack of milk and sugar latte creamer. You can add it to coffee or tea. I might save this and try to use it for some tea. I've never added milk to my tea, but I know like British people do that. <laughs> English people, probably a lot more people. I'm just gonna say, I know that people around here don't do it. Most of our tea is iced tea. <laughs> but, and I even, I sometimes make the teas that y'all send me, and I put ice in them. <laughs> So, uh, I make it my own way. Instead of sitting around drinking a nice warm cup of tea, I drink, I make it into iced tea with sugar in it. <laughs> or not sugar, but, um, stevia. And, um, yeah, but that's interesting. I might try it. I don't know. I've never tried it, but we'll see. But yeah, I, I will see if my mom wants this coffee. That's kind of weird. <laughs> to get, just in coffee. But, you know, they've sent tea before too, so. Alright, so now i got some Happy Mail packages. Uh, one was another fabric uh, package. I'll pop up a video because I've already started cutting the fabric. Uh, I pretty much started cutting it as soon as I got it <laughs> um, for my next backup date. Uh, I swear they always come right when I'm about to go buy a fabric. It's like, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> but they sent these really pretty fabrics, all kinds of different ones and some cute Christmas ones um, and a fall print that is going to be really cute coming up. And I'm just so thankful for that. It, it's always such a big help, especially right now, because uh, the 4th of July holiday is coming up, and Devin just found out last night that he's going to be off for seven days because of it. So those unplanned days of him missing work. So I'm going to try to... Um, he's got a little bit of vacation time that he's going to put in, and then I'm going to try to... What, 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 what am I looking for? Like, even it out, I'm going to try to earn a little bit more money than I normally would, because normally I wouldn't make bag updates right in a row. Um... To like subsidize or whatever i don't know what word i'm trying to think of <laughs> to uh even that out to where you know we're not struggling because of the holiday coming up i hate that u.s businesses do that to their employees they give them time off work for holidays but then they don't pay them for it which is stupid but anyways 
it came in perfect timing so i already got them cut and i'm actually gonna start sewing them today <laughs> um some bags some of them will be tote bags and some of them will be drawstring bags uh, and i'm hoping to get those in the shop this next coming week before the fourth of july i'm hoping maybe wednesday or thursday is coming week it depends on if um I can get sewing time in <laughs> but anyways that was from um the person who is anonymous and i'm just always so thankful for those boxes they're always so helpful <laughs> but um yeah so this next package this came from i'm trying to think of which one okay this one came first let me look this one is from mary she lives in california she sent me a really cute package it's for me june and jesse and technically devin too but she sent a cute little card and um inside that card she also included two gift cards which was i was really thankful for because <laughs> again it just came in good timing um she sent a walmart card and a subway gift card so i super appreciate that <laughs> there's nothing in the, in the world i think when you're a mom with kids and a husband to get gift cards for restaurants <laughs> even you know fast food restaurants because it is so helpful on those days when you're about to go crazy and the kids are driving you nuts and your husband's driving you nuts and you just you don't feel like throwing something together you can just send your husband to get some food and come home. Everybody can eat and, you know, it's done with. So I'm always 100 million percent grateful for gift cards that are for food. Not that I ever expect them, though, but, you know, every time I get one, it's just, like, the best thing in the world. It just makes my day. And actually, that gift card, we've already used it because it was one of those days. I've gotten this package about a week and a half ago. Um, and there's still some money on it. <laughs> so I think I'm going to save that for myself because there's, like, enough to get one more sub with. And I think I might get that one day if I ever get a day where I don't have um, other people with me in the truck. <laughs> but that probably ain't going to happen anytime soon. But I'm thankful for that. She also sent Jesse some cute things. I've got a couple of them here, but some of them were toys. I know she sent a kaleidoscope that looked like a um, telescope thingy that pirates use. Are those called telescopes? Uh, I can't think if she sent any other little toys. I know she sent that. And then she sent this book. A pirate book. And this is like, it's not a pop-up book, but it's like a, um, it's like an interactive book. Like, you slide it. He likes this a lot. And it's really cool. And he really likes this last page. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like gold and shiny. <laughs> but he likes this book a lot. And so he sent that. I mean, she. <laughs> I was thinking about Jesse. And then she also sent this really cool. It's a highlights, which are always fun as kids. Dinosaur puzzle book. So it's it's like you can color it, but it's also the kind where you search for different things, which Jesse loves. I like doing those too myself. We got another one of these books. Um, I think around the holidays. That's a highlight books, and it's just so fun. And even after a while, you can go back and redo them because you forget where everything is. And it's just a lot of fun. So he can color this and then search for all the um, the hidden things. I used to love these. When I was a kid, we were, we were poor, so I never got to, like, get the subscription to these. But every time I went to the dentist or doctor, they had them in the waiting rooms, and I would always just, like, take take them and play with them the whole time over there. I can't remember if she said anything else for Jesse, because he took it and ran. It took me forever to find these books. I know there was a kaleidoscope. I don't see it sitting here. I'm in his room. It's somewhere. <laughs> I can't remember if there was anything else, but she sent June the most cutest thing in the world, and I can't wait to put it on her. It is so cute. It's a little big for her right now, but I think it'll fit her. It's a size six months, so it should fit her in like a month or so. And I can't, this is, this is the outfit she's going to wear for her six month pictures that I take. Okay, it's so cute. You're, you're not going to be prepared for this. Okay, this is the outfit. <laughs> it is so cute. It's like sailor themed. And then it came with the cutest little tiny baby shoes that have crabs on them. And then it did come with three bows, but I've used one of the bows and it's in the living room. She had it on her the other day. It was just a solid white bow. But it also came with one that's the same print as the, the outfit. And then one with a little crab on it. <laughs> but, and then a white one, but it's, it's in the living room because I used it. And then cute little baby sunglasses. <laughs> She's going to be so cute in this. And like I said, it's a little bit big on her right now. But she'll be fitting in it soon, so it'll be such cute pictures. I'll try to take her outside, maybe, to take these pictures, and it's going to be so cute. It's going to be so cute. I can't wait to put her in this outfit. It's going to be so cute. This is definitely one of the outfits I'm keeping. Uh, I have a I'm very sentimental. I keep pretty much everything. <laughs> and it's so hard for me to get rid of baby clothes. I have so much of Jessie's that I didn't pull out for June. They're just special Jessie ones, and I'm doing the same thing with June. I'm going to have two big boxes of baby stuff 
forever. Maybe one day I'll let them have them if they have babies. Or I might just keep them for myself. But yeah, so that was the, the package from Mary. Thank you so much for that. It was so um, sweet of you to send it for all of us. And especially the gift cards. They were nice and they were handy. <laughs> when we, uh, they just, all, stuff always seems to come when you need it the most. And then this next package, this is from Janelle. Uh, she's in Florida. She is so sweet. And she had uh, a sad friend moment happen this, this past week. Uh, someone that she knows passed away in an accident. And I just wanted to let her know that I'm sorry for that. And I hope that she's doing okay. And um, I seen her post on a Facebook, one of the Facebook groups about that. So I hope you're all right out there, Janelle, wherever you're at, right at the moment. But anyways... This is the first package, and she also said she sent in another one. It's actually at the post office. I just didn't have time to pick it up yesterday before that closed. So I'll get it tomorrow. But it's a cookbook that she wrote. So I'm super excited about getting that. I cannot wait to, like, go through that. Because uh, I'm always asking for recipes and stuff. But this is the stuff that she sent me first. The first there is a cute card with yarn on it. And in the letter, she talks about how she's sending that cookbook. And then it's family recipes. And um, I'm super excited about that. Cute card. Put that over there. And then she sent me some Tamara Grooming books and a little kit and some stickers. These stickers are really cool. It says, it's got yarn balls on it and it says, Handmade by Ella, No Kitchen and Crochet. That is so cool. Mm, that's so cool. I love these. I guess she made these. I don't, I guess these are maybe from a Cricut or something or maybe the kind that you print. Because I've, I've made stickers myself where you just print it at home, you know, on your printer. But this is so cool. Okay, I'm going to use those. And then this cute crochet kit. I don't, I haven't opened it, so I don't know what company it's from. Well, it says Immediate Media Company, <laughs> but I don't know. It looks like one of those kits that comes when you buy a crochet magazine. And it's a little crochet witch. And it comes with the yarn. And right here is a little safety eyes and the thread to make the smile. And it's just so cute. I can't wait to make that. I might start working on this soon. It's a really small thread or yarn. It looks like it's maybe a size 3. Maybe even a little bit smaller than that, but it's, it's cute. I can't wait to use that. And then the two books she sent me, she sent me the Amigurumi Treasures, which I have in one of these books, not this one, but the one by the same person, um, Arena Lee. I don't know if I said that right. This one. Someone I just seen make something out of this. I think it might have been Julie from Chaos Mom Crochet. I'm flipping through to see if maybe, maybe that lamb that she made recently. I don't know. Someone had this book. <laughs> but it's got a bunch of cute patterns. I wonder if it's got one of those pages that shows you all the... Or it does, but it's really small. This is all the... There's a dodo bird. I'm going to have to make that dodo bird. Oh, wait. This this pig. Someone made this pig. Who made this pig? I don't remember who made this pig. Someone made that pig recently. Or talked about wanting to make it. But it's so cute. Okay, I'm definitely... That dodo isn't going to be the first thing I make out of that book. For sure. And then she also sent me this cute one. Someone else had this too, but I can't remember. See, I watch so many people always forget who does what. But this is your, this is an Annie's Crochet Year Round Gnomes. And it's got gnomes themed for year round. This, someone had this. So there's a Christmas gnome, of course. And then, oh, Valentine gnomes. Oh, I think, um, Rebecca made these, or someone, she shared that someone else made them. <laughs> See, I can't remember. i seen them on someone's channel. I just can't remember whose it was. And then this one is an Easter gnome. That's so cute. I want to make all of them. I could. And I could have a little gnome sent out for every... This is bl old Blossom. It's like a summery spring gnome. And then Suki. <laughs> Witch gnome. Definitely gotta make that. A little holy. Serum. Carmine is like a harvest gnome. <laughs> Mine will be bigger because I'll use worst away. Darnell, Darrell, Darrell. It's like a winter gnome. Is that the last one? Yeah, that might be the last one. Yeah, that's cute. Those are so cute. I love them. Definitely gonna make those. All right, and the last thing I got was actually from my state. <laughs> I came in um, to our door, which I don't give anyone at my actual address. I mean, if you wanted it bad enough, bad enough, I'm sure you could look it up on the internet because you can find out anything about anybody on the internet. But, you know, I just, that's why I have a P.O. box so I can get um, 
stuff there without people knowing where exactly I live. Plus the reason I originally got a P.O. box is because packages started missing from our stoop here. Because we live in kind of a uh, shady area. It's like a low income development. <laughs> it's not um, it's not like government housing, but it's like one tear up from that. <laughs> so, uh, which is good for us because when rent spiked up uh, after the pandemic, ours only went up $50. And whereas other people in other complexes here in town went up like a couple hundred. So that's a good thing. <laughs> but anyways, that's where the happy box. So I got this and I, was, I couldn't figure out who it was from. And I was like, who has that, my home address that's not, you know, my family members. And um, turns out it's from the state because there's a piece of paper that tells you that. I just, it took me a minute to read through it. But it's, it's, it's from Scholastic and it's a summer reading program that some states participate in where the states pay for these book packs to be sent to the kids so jesse got this because he did go to public school for kindergarten but i'm planning on homeschooling him now um for just personal reasons uh and then i read the back of this and it's basically saying all that but anyways it comes with little papers for you to after you read the books to the kids or they read them um it's got like questions and stuff for them to answer and on the back it's got uh you know where you can like activities for the book but anyways, I just wanted to share it because I thought it was cute. So he got uh, Waiting is Not Easy by Mo Willems. <laughs> That's probably going to be a good book for Jesse. This one is, this one kind of breaks my heart a little bit. <laughs> this one's called Little Dreamer, an Inspiration Primer. Uh, and it's got Ruth on it. And if you know, you know. I don't want to talk about politics stuff, but something really horrible. <laughs> are involving... Everything she worked for um, happened quite recently. This one is cute. This is called Dog on a Frog. <laughs> Look at the frog. He's so cute. This one is called Pine and Boof. The Lucky Leaf. And then two more. This one's called The Greatest Adventure, which I'm pretty sure he'll love this one because he loves stuff like this, like adventure top books. And then the last one is called One Day on Our Blue Planet. The person who wrote this is named Ella. <laughs> so I thought that was cool that that came. There's the package for it. I'll just put that on there. <laughs> but I was so confused at first. I was like, who would have sent this? But um, and then I figured it out by reading the stuff that came with it. But yeah, I'm not sure what all these books are about. I'll probably read through them a little bit just so I can help him understand it a little bit. When he when he's um, this book right here's got a little pages about a bunch of different like important people throughout time it's cool that they, they have them in here some of them are a little questionable <laughs> but it's like with most people you don't know everything about people just you know what people tell you because like gandhi's in here and i've heard some bad things about gandhi <laughs> like he had children wives or whatever not wives but you know, just bad stuff. <laughs> but anyways, they just summarize the good stuff about them, I guess. This one's going to be interesting. This one's kind of like a heftier book. Well, it's still like a level two, maybe, reading. It's just long. But Desi has really bad. Um, he doesn't have any patience. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's what this is about. So it's probably going to be good for him to read. I love these little kid books, though. I could just buy all kinds of them. <laughs> anyways, that's all I have to go. Whoops. So I'm going to hop off here and record quickly the uh, giveaway winner uh, so they can contact me. And then I will try to get this edited later today. You might see this one later tonight because I got to get in there and start sewing. I got to get a few hours of work to sewing in today to be on schedule. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I will see you guys in the video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.